Okay, this video is going to be a little bit off the cuff. Hey everybody, this is TJR. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. And I found out earlier today, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon will be receiving a 50th anniversary box set treatment. It will release on March 23rd, and it is available for pre-order right now. And I'm going to go over what's included in this box and give my own thoughts on it. I will start out by saying I wish I could be more excited about this. And I'll explain that in more detail in a bit. First, let's go over what's inside. The new deluxe box set includes two CDs, two vinyl LPs, two DVDs, two Blu-rays. It will also feature two replica 7-inch singles. It will include a hardcover book. And to me, the most curious thing about this set is a songbook. So let's talk about these here. First, CD1, of course, the album, The Dark Side of the Moon. Original studio album remastered by James Guthrie in gatefold sleeve with 12-page booklet. My only thought about this is that we got this album remastered by James Guthrie back in 2011. In fact, that's the vinyl version I have. Uh, this was for the, um, the 2011 uh, sets that they released. They released the album separately. They released them in uh, experience editions as double CDs, and they released them, some of them at least, in immersion box sets. Dark Side of the Moon being one of them. And so we've gotten a remaster within roughly the last 10, 11 years or so. Um, I keep going back to the Beatles example. You know, their albums were initially mastered for CD in the late 80s or the mid 80s, I think. Don't quote me. And then it was about 22, 22 years later before they remastered them again. And was, did the technology make a difference in that length of time? Yes, it did. When it's 10 years or so, I'm not always sure that that's enough time for the technology to really make any unique difference in a remastering. Um, I've seen a lot of box sets coming out lately where they're not saying it's a remaster. They're just saying, hey, it's a remaster from a couple years back. And the reason is because doing another remaster isn't going to make any difference. And at least they're honest about it. Now, I'm not saying Pink Floyd's being dishonest with us, but it feels to me like... Any remaster is going to be superfluous, but I could be wrong. We could play this and say, oh, wow, this is way better than 2011. We'll see. Um, CD2, The Dark Side of the Moon, live at Wembley, Empire Pool, London, 1974. Now, this was originally released in the 2011 Immersion Box sets and the Experience Edition, if my research is correct. LP1. Dark Side of the Moon, of course, the original album. Remastered original studio album in the Grateful Sleeve with original posters and stickers. LP2, of course, I'm sure you already have guessed it. The Dark Side of the Moon, live at Wembley Empire Pool, London, 1974. This is the first LP release of this particular album. It's, it's been released, of course, on CD already back in 2011, but this is the first time for the LP. Uh, in Gatefold Sleeve with two posters featuring design by, and hopefully I say these names right, Ian Emmis, and Gerald Scarf, S-C-A-R-F-E. I don't know if I say that right. Same artist involved with the album design artwork for The Wall, as I'm sure you're aware. I do recognize that name, just don't know if I can say it right. Now, a side note. This LP version of Dark Side of the Moon Live at Wembley Empire Pool, London, 1974, will be sold separately. You can pre-order it now. So if you just want this concert on vinyl, you can get it separately. Hello, this is TJR from the future, interrupting TJR from the past. As I was editing this video, I discovered that the CD version will also be sold separately. So I wanted to inform you here, news does change quick here on the internet. Let's return now to TJR from the past. Now, each set has two Blu-rays and two DVDs, both reproducing the same material. Um, this is where it gets a little confusing. Blu-ray 1 um, says original album, 5.1 and high-resolution remastered stereo 
mixes. Blu-ray 2 states, original, newly remastered album, Atmos, and high-resolution stereo mixes. So what this is telling me, the first Blu-ray, I guess, is the same Blu-ray audio you got on the Dark Side of the Moon Immersion set, because it says original album, 5.1 and high-resolution remastered stereo mixes. Uh, whereas Blu-ray 2 says original, newly remastered album, at most, and high-resolution stereo mixes. So I'm guessing these are the 5.1 mixes from previously, because they say original, I, I don't know. Whereas the other one says newly remastered. Um, so I'm guessing those are previous 5.1 high-resolution stereo mixes uh, of the from the previous set. And the second one is the new remaster in Dolby Atmos and high-resolution stereo mixes. Again, it's kind of confusing to me because both of them offer stereo, high-resolution stereo mixes. So I assume one of them is the, once again, the previous version, and this is the new version. So um, if anyone wants to shed some light on that, please help me. Um, same thing for the DVD. Um, it's, you know, it says DVD audio, original album 5.1 and remastered stereo mixes. And DVD 2, original album 5.1 and remastered stereo mixes. So, yeah, a, little, a bit confusing. But I'm just going to guess that the first DVD and Blu-ray are from the previous set. And the new, the second Blu-ray and DVD are the newer remastered versions. That's just the best I can figure it out because there's not a lot of information here. By comparison to what was in the immersion set, and I, you know, just looked up information and got an image of the back cover for the immersion set, and it did seem to me like the DVDs and Blu-rays included in the immersion set did give you more. I mean, they gave you high-resolution stereo, they gave you high 5.1, they gave you surround mixes, they gave you quad mixes course didn't do Dolby Atmos because it wasn't it was that wasn't avail an available thing at that time um but they also included the blu-rays also seem to include visual elements too Vis you know uh, uh blu-ray video and audio uh, concerts and so it seemed to give you a bit more than these do these just give you audio um but no visual elements no no uh, no concerts on video he also included in this new box set will be a 160 page hardcover book with rare black and white photographs from the 1973-1974 tours of the UK and USA taken by Creter, by excuse me Peter Christofferson, hopefully I've said that right, or Christopherson, Jill Fromanovsky, hopefully I've said that right, Audrey Powell, and Storm Thurgerson, hopefully I've said that right too. If I haven't, I apologize. Now, interestingly enough, the book also, if you just want to get your hands on this book, this book will also be released separately through Thomas and Hudson, and you can pre-order that now. And then, of course, the other book item for this set is, it says here, 76-page music book, complete songbook of original album. So this tells me sheet music, sheet music for the album. Um, 76 pages, though, it's, I'm guessing it has either a lot of photographs or maybe it's a much more detailed sheet music breakdown uh, you know, for 76 pages. I have a Pink Floyd uh, Dark Side of the Moon songbook. It's a very thin little book that just has very basic, you know, piano arrangements with lyrics, melody lines, and guitar chords. But from that, I can, of course, uh, use it as a, as kind of just a, uh, to lay the groundwork of figuring out, you know, various parts and come up with my own arrangements if I want to. In fact, I released a cover a breathe on this channel here. And I use that book as my starting point. And I've had it since I think like, yeah, the late seventies, actually, maybe early eighties, bought it at a bookstore ages ago. I still have it to this day. Um, also included are two uh, seven inch single replicas. Um, one of single that has money. And then on the other side has any color you like. And the other one, us and them and time. And so, you know, I guess they're nice novelties, but these aren't, these tracks are on the album. Um, so I, I kind of, I'm puzzled by that. It would be one thing if these were 45s that were released at the time of the album that are not available on the album. That might be a neat thing. 
Then lastly, there is a, um, a replica. It says here, replica of pamphlet, an invitation to preview the dark side of the moon at London Planetarium on the 27th of February, 1973. So that's a little memorabilia item. And that's the set. And I, I saw it retailing here in the U.S. on Amazon for $2.99, 300 bucks. It's a lot of discs, but it's also a lot of repetition of material as well. And like I said, some of this material looks like it's already been released in the immersion set. And I never got to obtain the immersion set back when it came out. I just did not have the money to do that at the time. I was still a working musician, so I just did not have the money. Um, in fact, I didn't pick up any or hardly any of the releases that came out during that time. I picked up The Wall, the Experience Edition, which had two CDs, one of the album and one filled with demo track versions of the album. Great set. But I did not pick up the Experience versions for like Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here. Um, I think Wish You Were Here also had a live, the bonus disc was a live disc. And of course, with Dark Side of the Moon, the bonus disc was the uh, the Wembley concert that is being released with this set. And so, which I did listen to on streaming. Uh, I just chose to listen to those on streaming. I didn't feel I needed to buy those just to have that live concert. Um, and like I said, I was, a, I was a professional musician at the time and I was just broke. So I just couldn't afford those. Um, but also I noticed the immersion set gave you uh, a lot of like session tracks, live takes, um, early versions of songs. Um, there was some, a lot of cool stuff in that particular box set. In fact, as I did my research for this and started looking over all this, I thought, you know, I think if I have to choose, I think I'd rather buy an inflated aftermarket price for the immersion set on eBay or Mercari or any other one of those services uh, and just buy that instead as opposed to this. I mean, I have the 2011 remaster on vinyl. The vinyl version I have is that same remaster. At least I'm pretty sure it is based on the the, the credits on it. Uh, so I'd be, I'd be hard pressed to believe it isn't. If anyone else can prove me wrong, that's fine. Please feel free to do so. I'm, you know, always open to possibilities. But um, yeah, so that is the Dark Side of the Moon 50th anniversary set. I'm puzzled by the fact that the Blu-ray is not being released separately. I know that with the recent remix of Animals, you could buy the Blu-ray separately. Of course, you could also buy the LP separately, the CD separately. The only thing that wasn't sold separately was the DVD, which only came with the box set. And initially, I wasn't going to buy the box set. I was just going to buy the LP until the box set dropped in price to where it was just a, a little bit more expensive than buying the LP. And at that point, okay, get the LP, get the Blu-ray, get it all. So yeah, uh, roughly about two ninety nine here in the US. I've seen a few online retailers that are already discounting it for a little bit less than that, maybe 20 bucks less or so. Um, this all just got announced today. And again, I wish I could get more excited you know, I'm not sure how much difference another remaster is going to really make. Um, I'm puzzled that they're, the Blu-rays aren't being made separately, but the hardcover book and the LP of the concert is. Now, maybe that'll change as we get closer to release date. Maybe they'll 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 add those. Um, you never know. Um, but it's funny to me. The thing that's most intriguing about this is the songbook, and I'm willing to bet for a lot of people that might be the most useless item in the whole set. Let me know your thoughts about this. What do you think? Are you excited for it? I mean, if you are, that's great. Uh, let us know. Do you plan on getting it, or are you just going to pass? At this point, I just can't get excited about this. I think I'm going to pass. But I'm curious to know what you think. Please share your thoughts in the comments. As always, if you like these videos, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. And a big thank you to the patron supporters who are helping me make more videos. Patron supporters do receive exclusive weekly videos not available on this channel. You can become a patron supporter by going to patreon.com forward slash TJR, the original. And um, mostly though, just thank you so much for, uh, for hanging out. Uh, don't forget there is a super thanks button. 
if you if you just want to make a single donation and can't be a patron supporter, it's all it's all appreciated. Everything helps. Every little bit helps. Um, thank you, everybody. Looking forward to checking out your comments on this. See you in the next video. Bye bye.